So this gets us onto a subject about called disease trajectories. So if you look at this graph on the top of the axis there, you're 100% well. This is you on a Monday morning when you've had your cup of coffee and you're running out of the door and you're feeling great. And then at the bottom, you're dead. Um, time just runs from left to right. So if you look at the first trajectory, that white trajectory there, that's the trajectory of um, chronic, chronic disease that you see in extended care. So everybody who comes into extended care has a problem. The vast majority, with a few notable exceptions, are palliative. And so if that's the sort of trajectory. And for those of you who worked in extended care type settings, you'll recognize that. These people are not well. They have slow ups and downs. And they gradually fade and generally die in a predictable way. Compare that trajectory to this one. That's cancer. If you uh, talk to a lot of palliative care docs about what they would like to die of, most of them say cancer. And here's the reason. You can see that horizontal curve. People with early diagnosis of cancer do pretty well. They manage it well. And they have a few setbacks, but they do quite well. And then they get to that steep curve and make a pretty rapid decline. And, it, and often you can have pretty good um, symptom control and with um, an intensive input of uh, um, health, uh, health care there and um, caregiver support, they can have a fairly OK death. Compare that trajectory with this one. That's the roller coaster, isn't it? So this one is organ failure. And anybody who's worked in acute care has seen this one. This is a person who comes in at 2 o'clock in the morning to emergency in acute cardiac failure. And they look really ill. And you give them some vitamin F, that's furosemide, to those of you who don't know. And in five hours later, they're sitting up and asking for breakfast. And you think, well, what was that about? Well, each one of those dips could be death. And the point is, if you wait to do your palliative care planning for that patient in the dip there, you've waited way too late. So somebody who has organ failure has a life-limiting diagnosis. We should be doing the palliative approach way earlier than we are at the moment. So you can imagine trying to say, oh, I need to talk about advanced care planning and who your decision maker is when they have an ejection fraction in 12% and they're gasping for breath and their O2 sat is 78%. You've left it way too late. So we get this concept of ambiguous dying there will not be a distinct terminal phase. The week we die will start out like any other, and some unpredictable calamity will occur amongst those of us with advanced heart failure. We will have a 50-50 chance to live for, the, for, six we, for six months on the day before we died. So that's pretty powerful. So that talks about not waiting till people with organ failure are at death's door before we start the palliative approach.